Let's meet the team from Newnham. Hello, my name is Bethan Holloway-Strong. I'm from Surrey and Australia, and I'm studying English. Hi, I'm Hannah Bowen. I'm from Gateshead, and I'm studying languages, specifically German, Russian and Polish. And their captain? Hi, I'm Roma Ellis. I'm from Nottingham, and I'm studying philosophy. Hi, my name is Chen Zhuyu. I come from Suzhou in China, and I study history of science. What seven-letter word can mean the following? Colours that are neither strong nor positive, a gear in which the engine is disconnected from the driven parts, neither acid nor alkaline... Unimalis. Neutral. Neutral is correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on words that differ only by the addition of an initial letter C to one of them. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, a precious substance mined since ancient times in the Baltic region and the angle made by the wheels of a vehicle. The Baltic could be amber, I think. Amber, amber and camber, camber yes. Yeah. Amber and camber. Correct. Secondly, a collection of statistical models used to analyse the difference between group means in a sample and an Italian neoclassical sculptor whose works include the Three Graces and Venus Victrix. Um, who's the Three Graces? I don't know. Um, I should know this. Um, yeah, this is annoying. Um, what, what's the statistical, statistical one, then? Um, Spearman's rank, is it? No. No, no. pass. It's Anava and Canava. And finally, a large member of the Corvid family and a word meaning contemptibly cowardly. Raven and Craven? Yes. Yeah. Raven and Craven. Raven and Craven is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. An early example of a controlled experiment. In 1747, the Royal Navy surgeon James Lind gave oranges and lemons to a group of sailors. Unimalis. Scurvy. Scurvy is correct. So you get this set of bonuses there on physics. What name is given to a line or curve representing the changes in pressure and volume of a gas during a process involving no transfer of heat? Oh, um... Uh, eutectic? No, it's oh, adiabatic it's or adiabat. The adiabatic index is a ratio of specific heats of gases under two specific conditions. One is constant pressure, the other is constant what? Pressure. Constant volume. Volume. Yeah. volume. Volume is correct. For an ideal gas, the universal gas constant is the Boltzmann constant times what other constant named after an Italian scientist? Do you know what this is? No. Boltzmann. Boltzmann. Um, Italian. It's, no. Isn't Avogadro? No. Pauli. No, it's Avogadro's constant. Oh, of course. Ten points for this. Moldova, Kazakhstan, Egypt and Mexico all feature on their national flags. Variations of what animal? Unum Holloway Strong. Eagle. Eagle is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on paintings that feature children. Which leading impressionist painted Girl with a Watering Can and Gabriel and Jean? The latter depicting his son with Gabriel Renard, one of his frequent models. Impressionist. <laughs> um, Monet? I didn't really do many people. Um, if we can't think of another Impressionist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Degas is not it's Impressionist, like, is No, Degas not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah uh, Monet. No, it was Renoir. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, they all knew that at Courtauld. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> Secondly, which artist depicted the daughter of the Spanish king with her ladies in waiting in his 1656 work, Las Meninas, or The Royal Maids? Velasco. Velasquez is correct. The Blue Boy is a work of about 1770 by which British artist? Oh, that's Gainsborough, isn't it? Gainsborough? So. Gainsborough is correct. In addition to The Tempest, in which play by Shakespeare does a character named Sebastian survive a shipwreck? Unum Holloway Strong. Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the Nobel Prize in Literature. On awarding the 2013 prize to which Canadian author did the Swedish Academy say she has taken an art form, the short story, and cultivated it almost to perfection? See, I thought it was Margaret Atwood until I said short, short story. story. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't think... Has she won the Nobel Prize? I don't know, actually. Um, I don't think so. She's won the Booker, but... Mm -hmm. I, um, if we don't know. That, someone is, like, other so someone... Pass. 
That's Alice Munro. Oh. Secondly, The Good Earth and A House Divided are novels by which US author who won the 1938 prize, quote, for her rich and truly epic descriptions of peasant life in China? Yeah. But it's not, it's not a Chinese person. No, it's, mm -hmm. she's American. Um, the Good Earth. I'm sorry, no, I don't no, know. Sorry. Pass. It's Pearl S. Buck. Both banned in South Africa, Burger's Daughter and July's People are works by which Nobel laureate? They're by Nadine Gordimer. Uh, nominate Holloway Strong. Nadine Gordimer. Nadine Gordimer is correct. <laughs> in the Tokyo Olympics, Britain's Bethany Shriver and Kai White won... <laughs> Unimelis. BMX. BMX is correct, yes. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses on philosophy. A movement similar to empiricism and naturalism. What philosophy was formulated from the 1820s by the French thinker Auguste Comte? This is um, positivism. Positivism? Positivism, positivism is correct. Logical positivism is a philosophy expounded by which British philosopher in works such as Language, Truth and Logic? Published in 1936. Air, 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 air. air is correct. Legal positivism is an approach to law that is said to deny any necessary connection between law and morality. In its early forms, it is associated with which utilitarian born in London in 1748? Well, then, do we say Jeremy Bentham, then? <laughs> yeah. Bentham? Bentham is correct. Ten points for this. In paintings by J.W. Waterhouse, which title figure of a well-known poem is variously depicted in a boat shortly before her Unum death? Unum Holloway Strong. Ophelia? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. The musical directive Arco refers to the playing of a stringed instrument in what manner? Unum Holloway Strong. Bowed with the bow? With the bow is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get these bonuses on the sciences, Newnham. In computer science, for what does the letter A stand in the acronym ACID, A-C-I-D? It outlines a set of guiding principles for database systems. Oh, no. Algorithm? Algorithm? Maybe. Algorithm? That's atomicity. Used to test for acids, the blue colouring matter known as litmus is obtained from what simple plant-like organisms? It's either a moss or a lichen. Um... Mosses are more like plants. Yeah. It's not algae or anything, is it? It's not, oh, yeah, they're not like okay. algae. No, it's lichens. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. For the Latin for a kind of social insect, what is the common name for methanoic acid? Oh, it's it's formic acid from formic. Ants. Formic is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in 1936, Francis Shand Kidd was the mother of which royal <laughs> figure? Walter McCarroll. Camilla Parker Bowles. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Portrayed on screen by Emma Corrin and Naomi Watts. Nina Um, Diana, Princess Diana. Diana is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get these bonuses on Canada. In each case, identify the province or territory from the description. Firstly, the smaller of the two provinces that border the US state of Maine. Um, well, so one Quebec would be pick one. Would that I, think, I think one of them is... Is one of them Newfoundland and Labrador? Or am I being okay, silly? Yeah. I don't know. Newfoundland and Labrador? No, it's New Brunswick. The other one's Quebec. Mm -hmm. The territory that borders Manitoba to the north, this border extending as far as Hudson Bay. Manitoba to the That north. might be... Um, or that, one of the Labrador. That might be Newfoundland and Labrador, then. <laughs> Newfoundland and Labrador. No, that's none of it. Oh, none of it. oh, oh goodness me. One? Finally, the province immediately one? east of British Columbia. Um, so that's the one that's above that um, Oregon. Oh, okay. So what's that one? Al is Alberta. Yeah, Alberta. maybe Alberta. <laughs> Alberta? Alberta is correct. <laughs> well done. Named after a Portuguese navigator, the Mascarene Islands comprise the French Department of Réunion along with which... Mutamalis. Mauritius. Mauritius is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses... Newnham on fictional newspapers. The Daily Mole and The Owl on Sunday are newspapers in a parallel universe occupied by which dodo-owning literary detective who pursues characters in and out of novels in books by Jasper Ford? Thursday next. Correct. Based on William Randolph Hearst, which eponymous character of a film of 1941 acquires the failing newspaper The New York Daily Inquirer? Citizen Kane, I think. Citizen Kane. Yeah. Citizen Kane. 
No, it said eponymous. Correct. Oh. Charles Foster. Oh, silly. Founded by Tina Brown, which news website shares its name with a fictional publication in Evelyn Ward's novel Scoop? Is it Buffler? Or is it... Maybe, yeah. Find that. Yeah, uh, nominate Bowen. Uh, Buffler? No, it's the Daily Beast. Ten oh. points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. Multiply 17 by 27. The result has how many digits? Call to McMeekin. Four. No. Yunam Chen. Three. Three is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on tautological place names. Tahoe is thought to be a mispronunciation of the Wesho people's word for lake. Lake Tahoe straddles the boundary between which two US states? I think it's Nevada and another one. Give me one. Um, well, Nevada borders uh, okay. uh, New Mexico. Nevada and New Mexico. No, it's Nevada and California. Oh. Which Arabic word for island is used for an island in the middle of the Nile between downtown Cairo and the district of Giza? Anyone there? I don't know. Anything. Pass. It's Gezira. Once noted for quarries that produced high-quality granite, Cove Bay is a suburb of which Scottish city? Uh, suburb of which city? Uh, uh, granite. Well, uh, granite. Inverness, maybe? Inverness? Inverness? No, it's Aberdeen. Ten points for this. The feature films Love and Friendship in 2016 and Clueless in 1995. Newton Bowen. Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on John Bunyan's 1678 work, The Pilgrim's Progress. In each case, give the single word that completes the following quotations. First, the subtitle of the work, The Pilgrim's Progress, From This World to That Which Is to Come, delivered under the similitude of a uh, what? Angel. Of an... Yeah, go Of on. an angel. No, under the similitude of a dream. Now I saw in my dream they drew near to a very miry slough, and they, being heedless, did both fall suddenly into the bog. The name of the slough was what? Um, despond, is this? Des yes. Despond, I think. Yeah. Despond? Despond is correct. The first line of the book, as I walk through the wilderness of this what... Earth, maybe? What? World? Earth? You want to go world? Go on. <laughs> Earth. No, it's world. <laughs> no! <laughs> right. Ten points for this. To whom was the composer Handel referring when he said, he knows no more counterpoint than my cook? Newnham Chen. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to buzz. I'm afraid you lose five points. Well, Newnham, you will come back as one of the highest-scoring losing teams. You've just made it a bit harder for yourself. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. Opened in 2009, a distinctive dual tide arch bridge at Stockton on Tees is known by what name after the looping image seen when it is reflected in the water below? The image in question is a symbol of a mathematical concept. Uh, Newnham Ellis. The Infinity Bridge. Correct. <laughs> so you get the first set of bonuses. They're on social history. For what does the letter T stand in the initials B-T-L and B-A-P-T? They were among the many bodies founded in the 19th century to campaign against alcohol consumption. Oh, tem temperance. 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 Okay. temperance. Correct. In 1847, Jabez Tunnicliffe and Anne Jane Carlyle were founders of an enduring children's temperance association known as the Band of what? Uh, the Band of? Band of... I don't know. Aunts. I don't know. Friends, I don't know. I don't know. Friends, yeah. Say yeah. Aunts. Aunts? I don't know. <laughs> Band of Hope. <laughs> a solemn undertaking to abstain from alcohol was known as signing or taking the what? Taking I need a six letter word here. Six letter word. Mm. Six letter word. Taking the. The. Mm. I don't think. Mm -hmm. No. Pass, sorry. Pledge is mm. what I was looking for. Ten points for this. Depicted as harbouring alien life in Arthur C. Clarke's 2010 Odyssey 2, which moon of Jupiter is believed to have a large subsurface liquid water? Unamellus. Europa. Europa is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on rainbows. Along with to gild refined gold and to paint the lily, the phrase to add another hue unto the rainbow appears in which of Shakespeare's histories? It's addressed to the title character by the Earl of Salisbury. 
Salisbury. Salisbury. Salisbury. Oh goodness. Um, this is should I say Richard the Third? Richard maybe? the Third. Yeah, go on, Guess Richard. That's Richard the Third. third. No, it's King John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Secondly, a rainbow and a cuckoo's song may never come together again, may never come this side of the tomb. These are the words of which poet, born in South Wales in 1871? His prose works include the autobiography of a super tramp. Does anyone know this? No. It's not Thomas, is it? Mm, I don't think so. Um, uh, I don't know, sorry. I'm going to say Thomas. Go for it, yes. Yeah. Thomas? It's W.H. Davis. Oh. In a short poem by Wordsworth, what four words come before when I behold a rainbow in the sky? Sorry. It's like a hawk or I something, don't I don't know. Um, is it a hawk, maybe? It's, it's not I wonder when it's a cloud, is it? That's no, a different no, no, no. It's not daffodils. Yeah. Uh, maybe it says that. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Wandered lonely as a cloud. <laughs> no, that does, it's from daffodils. Yeah. It's my heart leaps up when oh. I behold. Oh. Ten points for this. A major pilgrimage centre, the city of Haridwar, lies on which river at the point where it leaves the Himalayan foothills and flows east across the populous plain to which it gives its name? Newnham Ellis. Ganges. Ganges is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on words that contain the letters erm, E-R-M, within their first syllable. For example, mermaid terminology or permutation. In each case, give the word from the definition. Firstly, in physics, the ability of a substance to store electricity in an electric field. Uh, um, um, ability to store electricity. No, no, I pass. It's permittivity. Mm -hmm. oh. In music, a pause of unspecified length. This word also appears in the title of a novel of 1994 by Nicholson Baker in which the protagonist is able to stop time. I think this is for Marta. Uh, nominate Holloway Strong. For Marta. For Marta is correct. In biology, an animal that has both male and female sex organs, the term concatenates names of two Greek deities. Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite is correct. <laughs> what year of the 21st century saw all of these? The 150th anniversary of the proclamation of the Kingdom of Italy, the centenary of, in centenary of International Women's Day, the 50th anniversary of the first human in space and the 10th anniversary of the launch of Wikipedia. Uh, New Numellus. 2011. 2011 is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the mythical land of Shambhala, which appears in Hindu and Tibetan Buddhist literature. The Shambhala myth held fascination for what occult movement Co-founded in 1875 by Helena Blavatsky, influenced by Neoplatonism and Eastern religions, its members included Pete Mondrian and W.B. Yeats. I um, think this might be theosophy, but I'm not... Theosophy? Sure. Yeah, theosophy, Yeats was yeah. into, like, mysticism mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah. Theosophy? Correct. Shambhala is a frequent motif in Against the Day, a long novel of 2006 by which reclusive US author... His other works include Gravity's Rainbow and Vineland. And this is uh, Thomas Pynchon, I think. Thomas Pynchon? Yeah, yeah. Pynchon, yeah. Thomas Pynchon? Thomas Pynchon is correct. Created in 1963, which Marvel comic superhero has adversaries including Nightmare, Eternity and Dormammu, as well as a mentor who hails from the land of Shambhala? Just Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is correct. From the Arabic, of course, wool thereby denoting the kind of garment worn. What name was given around the year 800 to Islamic mystics who adopted ascetic... Ah. Newnham Bowen. Sufi. Sufi is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the island of Java. The fossilised remains of Java man were discovered in 1891. They were the first known remains of which extinct hominin species that flourished around two million years ago. I think it's like D something, Denise. Uh, Denise. Oh, uh, Denisovan. Uh, not sure. Oh, no. were, I think they're earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, no, sorry, later. But it couldn't be like Erectus or later. Yeah, Homo was... someone. <laughs> I don't know. I might say Denise. Try that. Yeah, yeah. You go on me. Mm -hmm. Denisovans? No, it's Homo erectus. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Briefly, the capital of Indonesia in the late 1940s. Which major city and cultural centre lies close to the ancient temples of Borobudur and Prambanan? No idea. Major cultural centre. That's the current capital. Mm. Yeah, no. We don't know. Oh, Pass. It's Yogyakarta. Oh, Java produces most of the world's supply of what medicinal substance extracted from the bark of cinchona trees? Um, quinine. It's quinine. 
It's Quinine. Quinine. Yeah. Okay. Quinine? Quinine is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Made with white wine or more traditionally verjuice, which pale smooth mustard is named after the capital of the Cote d'Or <laughs> department? Newton Bowen. Dijon. Dijon is correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on knaves. Out of his surname, they have coined an epithet for a knave, and out of his Christian name, a synonym for the devil. These words of the historian T.B. Macaulay refer to which Italian born 1469? A synonym for a knave. Is this like Machiavelli? No. Casanova? Yeah. Casanova? 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 No, it's Machiavelli. Oh, oh, sorry. In the 1751 work on the principles of morals, which philosopher introduces the idea of the sensible knave, someone who seeks to benefit from a practice of justice without always following its rules? What was the... 1751. 1751. Um, moral philosopher. Uh, I'm so bad. It's not Kant, philosophy. is it? Yeah, I mean, that's like... He didn't do loads of ethics, but... Trump? Kant. No, it's David Hume. Oh. Born in 1865, which Nobel laureate uses the word knave and dolt in various combinations in poems such as Against Unworthy Praise and The Fascination of What's Difficult? Oh, do you know this? I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to conjure it up in time. No, I'm sorry. Know. Pass. <laughs> It's W.B. Yeats. Ten points for this. Written by Hanif Qureshi and directed by Stephen Frears, which 1985 British film... <laughs> Newton Bowen. My Beautiful Laundrette. My Beautiful Laundrette is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on the US pharmacologist Gertrude B. Elion, a Nobel laureate in 1988. Elion's first major discovery was a drug for leukaemia belonging to what class of compounds? Examples include the nucleic acid bases, adenine and guanine. I don't know. I think one that you um, yeah. I've forgotten. Um, uh, do we think they're amino acids? Or? A py is that pyrimidine? Puring or pyrimidine is one of them, but I don't know which one it is. It's guess, guess puring or pyrimidine. Um, nominate Chan. Pyrimidine? No, it's purine. <laughs> Bad luck. <laughs> Elian also developed allopurinol, a drug for gout that inhibits an enzyme necessary for the formation of what substance excreted by humans? It is present in large amounts in gout patients. Mm. Gout? What substance excreted? I don't know. All I can think I of is what's... bile, but I don't think that's a medical term what's anymore. Bile? Yeah, bile is a <laughs> medical term. We don't really it, do we? You do, you do excrete it. OK. Bile. No, it's uric acid. Oh, Elion contributed to developing the first successful antiviral acyclovir. This can be used in the treatment of what infection? Caused by the varicella zoster virus. Varicella is... Mumps, is it? Mumps, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah chicken so. pox is... Um... Oh, no, chicken pox is varicella. Chicken pox is varicella. Varicella is chicken pox. Varicella is shingles. Do we want... Yeah. Do we want chi uh, I mm -hmm. chicken pox? Chicken pox is correct. <laughs> well done. Ten points for this. Referring to the Mesopotamian god Bel, what name is shared by the following? A merchant in the Comedy of Errors, the musician who performs the song... Sigh no more, ladies, sigh no more, in Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, New Balthazar. Balthazar is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on words that appear in rhyming jingles in the Euro pop song Barbie Girl by Aqua. In each case, give the word from the description. Firstly, the single word title of a historical novel by Gore Vidal, its protagonist is a Persian prince who travels to India and China, meeting the Buddha and Confucius. What is this? What's this? I don't know. Um, the words in Barbie Girl are classic, <laughs> fantastic, uh... hair, anywhere, <laughs> imagination, creation. Hair, could be hair. No, um, <laughs> no um, hair. No, it's creation. <laughs> <laughs> in the 1967 film The Graduate, Mr Maguire takes the title character aside and says, there's a great future in what? This is in plastic. plastic. In this film, it's in the plural. Plastic. In the song, it yes. appears in the singular. Plastics. Plastic is correct. In John Milton's L'Allegro, a word that comes between light and toe in a phrase that means to dance lightly or nimbly. Oh, what words do we have? Say the words again. Um, OK. Uh, girl, world, plastic, fantastic, hair, anywhere, imagination, world, creation. Or well, imagination. Yeah. World. Maybe, yeah. World. <laughs> No, it's fantastic. Oh. Bad luck. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture started, you'll see a painting by a French artist. Ten points if you can give me the artist's name. Uh, 
Newnham Bowen. Is that Fragonard? It is by Fragonard. Well done. <laughs> we follow on from the souvenir by Fragonard with uh, picture bonuses, three similar Rococo paintings depicting lonely women pining for an absent lover. Five points for each artist you can name. First... I don't know anyone What's else this Rococo? Like? It's, it's very... He's got like that kind of face thing, but I don't know who that is. Hannah, give me your best no, guess. I really don't know this one. Uh, anyone? I, I mean, know. Rococo, that was the only one I know. Okay, pass. <laughs> That's Watto, the worried lover. Secondly. Mm. Mm. That's, That's kind of Dutch, but I'm not sure. Oh, were, were they all French or were they? I, I thought they were all French. They were French, I don't know. <laughs> Hannah. I, um, yeah. I recognise the style, but I really don't know the painter for this one, sorry. Pass. <laughs> It's Boucher's The Secret Message. Mm. And finally... Well, it looks like the other two. <laughs> it looks weirdly like The Death of Marat, but maybe I'm just being, like, Who's that by? too David. Frenchy. I don't know. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look like David, David, David at all. all. <laughs> no, pass. That's by Madame Elizabeth Vigier Lebrun. <laughs> by ten points. Speaking of her recent translation, the British academic Emily Wilson describes which epic as... A complex and truthful articulation of gender dynamics that continues to haunt us. Newnham Holloway Strong. The Odyssey. It is Homer's Odyssey. That's correct. <laughs> right, we follow on from that with a set of bonuses on the German author E.T.A. Hoffmann. Born in 1776, Hoffmann wrote fanciful or macabre stories that inspired works by several composers. An example is the Chrysleriana. A series of piano cycles by which German composer? Wagner, Strauss. I'm thinking mm. maybe it's like one of the Wagner. Dark. What's the time? Wagner, try Wagner. I mean, it could be anyone. Mm. Wagner. It's not, it's Schumann. Mm. Hoffmann's The Sandman is the basis of which ballet by Delib? It concerns a maladaptive infatuation with a lifelike mechanical doll. I think Capalia. it's Capalia. 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 Capalia is correct. Premiered in Paris in 1881, The Tales of Hoffmann is an opera by which German-born composer? German-born, so... German-born Gustav Holst. Yeah. But then would he be doing anything in Paris? I, I, Did he write operas? Know. I don't know. Uh, German-born, I don't know. Uh, Man, uh, no. Opera... Uh... Holst. It's Offenbach. Mm -hmm. Ten points for this. After the Yangtze and the Yellow River, what is the third longest river of China? Forming a long border with the Russian Far East, its Chinese name is that of China's... Ah. Newnam Chen. ..or the most province. Amur? Amur is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on animals that appear in the Ramayana, one of the Sanskrit epics of ancient India. King Jatayu fought Ravan when he abducted Sita. He is usually identified... As what large carrion eating bird of the genus Gyps? It's nearing extinction in South Gyps. Asia. Uh, it's a kind of vulture. In South Asia, is this yeah. a vulture? Yeah. I mean, vultures are vulture, the main yeah, kind yeah. of carrion things. Mm. Vulture. Vulture is correct. An ally of Ram Jambavan led an army of what animals against Ravan? They were omnivorous, short tailed mammals of the order Carnivora. I think this might be monkeys, but I might be no, not no, carnivores. Carnivore. Oh, carnivores, oh, okay. Um, Civets? Um, How short tails are they? I was going to say elephants, but they're not small. Civet? No, they're bears. Oh. According to the epic, which rodents are in the family Sciuridae helped Ram to build a bridge to Sri Lanka? The Indian species have stripy backs, which is said to be a result of Ram stroking them. Could this be shrews? An Indian shrew? India, maybe. maybe that, yeah. Shrew. No, it's squirrels. Resulting in a reflection in the x-axis on an argan diagram, what is the complex conjugate of the complex number if A and B are real? Newnham Ellis. Sorry, I shouldn't have buzzed that early. A minus B I. A minus I B is correct. <laughs> Three questions on a queen consort. A daughter of Ferdinand III, which queen gives her name to a number of Crosses built to mark the progress of her funeral cortege from Lincoln to London. Ooh. Um, did it give any... I was slightly zoned out. <laughs> should we give Ferdinand, Spain... No, I don't think we know. Uh, I don't think we know. No. Uh, Elizabeth I. <laughs> no, it's Eleanor of Castile. One of three surviving Eleanor crosses is at Hardingstone, just south of which large county town on the River Neen? River Neen. County town. I don't know, um, sorry. Hartford, maybe, I don't know. Hartford, try that. 
Hartford. No, it's Northampton. Mm. Which town in the borough of Broxbourne in Hertfordshire is named after a surviving Eleanor Cross? Uh, Hitchin is in Hertfordshire. Cross Cross town. Town. Just Hitchin. Uh, it's Waltham Cross. It's goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. The team from Newnham College, Cambridge got here the hard way, losing their first match, but with a high enough score to qualify for a playoff place at the end of the round. Given a second chance, they then comfortably beat the University of Sheffield, demonstrating particularly impressive knowledge of Asian mythology, musical notation, and the lyrics of Aqua's Barbie Girl. What four-letter term denotes all of these? In optics, a straight line passing through the geometrical center of a lens. In anatomy, the second vertebra, and in mathematics, a fixed reference line for the measurement of coordinates. Newnham Holloway Strong. Axis. Axis is correct, yes. <laughs> you get bonuses on an art movement. The term biomorphic whiplash is sometimes used for the curvy linear motifs that are a feature of which influential art style that emerged in the late 19th century? Mm. Late 19th century. Is it too early for cubism or could it be cubism? Um, they're not really curving. That's oh, OK. Curving. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Is it, could it be like art deco, arts and crafts, just thinking? Arts and crafts, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Arts and crafts. No, it's Art Nouveau. Oh. Born in 1861, which leading architect of the Art Nouveau movement designed the Hotel Tassel and the Hotel Solvay, both in Brussels? I've got no oh, idea. What's his name? No idea, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't know. It passed. That was Victor Horta. And finally, born in Brighton in 1872, which figure of the Art Nouveau era made notable illustrations for Oscar Wilde's Salome? Ooh, oh, this is um, uh, Aubrey Beardsley. That's it. Yes. Aubrey Beardsley. Correct. <laughs> Following the same fate as the Arabian Oryx Sanctuary in Oman and the Elba Valley in Dresden, six locations and a buffer zone within which British city lost their UNESCO World Heritage Site status in 2021? Newnham Ellis. Liverpool. Liverpool is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the biographer Fiona McCarthy. Which artist and social activist is the title figure of the biography subtitled A Life for Our Time, born in 1834. He was a founder of the Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings. I don't know. No idea. Not something. good on artists. No, mm. pass. That was William Morris. Oh, born in Berkshire oh in 1891. Which artist is the subject of a biography subtitled An English Vision? His works include St Francis and the Birds and Christ Preaching at Cookham Regatta. That's so familiar, that first mm. piece. Um, I don't... English artist. So <laughs> Turner. To guess Turner. Like it. It's not the right time, No, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Turner. No, it's Stanley Spencer. No. Oh. Who is the subject of McCarthy's final biography, subtitled Visionary Founder of the Bauhaus? Bauhaus. Um, Hannah's... Uh, I'm drawing a blank, I don't know. <laughs> Pass, sorry. It's Walter Gropius. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you will see the title of an English-language novel translated into Spanish. For ten points, give me the precise English title. Newnham Holloway Strong. For Whom the Bell Tolls. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Hemingway, of course, is correct. <laughs> it was inspired by his experiences in the Spanish Civil War as a journalist. Your bonuses will be the titles in Spanish of three more works by Anglophone writers relating in some way to their involvement in the Spanish Civil War. Again, give the precise English title of each work. First, an autobiographical work. Um, autobiography. Hand. Something about a morning. Yeah, a Leaving. summer morning um, when... An, a hand... Manana hands. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. Is party like, is that leaving or not? Um, I know, party. I know, like, in French, like, about... Do we know any autobiographical party. novels by when English? I don't know. Writers. Something about a summer morning when something... Summer mm. morning. Yeah. When breaks Pagnana, a summer maybe. morning, maybe? Mm. When brings a summer When breaks a summer morning. When breaks the summer morning. No, it's as I walked out one midsummer morning. Mm -hmm. Secondly, a novel. This is a literal translation of the English title rather than the title under which it's usually published in Spain. Oscuridad <laughs> is like um Darkness. Obscurity yeah. or darkness, darkness lost at, at midday. Noon. Is it darkness at noon? That's yeah, yeah. Well. 
Darkness at noon? Yeah, I think okay. that rings the bell. Video, the, yeah. Darkness at noon. Darkness at noon is correct by Arthur Kersler. And finally, an essay. An essay. Oh. Okay, a scribble. Um, oh, is this why write? Yeah. Why write, yeah. Why write? Yeah. No, it's why I write. Uh -huh. It's Orwell. Ten points for this. Which 20th century play opens with the words giving us the port, Edna? That's right. Set in... Unimellis. An inspector calls. An inspector calls is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on biomedical terms. All three answers begin with the same letters. Firstly, what term means of or relating to the wall of the body or a body cavity? It is applied to cranial bones, between the frontal and occipital bones, and to lobes of the cerebral cortex that deal with sensory information. Sensory information. I, know, I know walls like mural, so like extramural, intramural. Uh, is it like It's not occipital, no? No, so no, it's not. Okay. No. I'm going to nominate you if that's okay. okay. Sure. Nominate Chen. Paramural? No, it's parietal. What term denotes roots to administer medicines that do not involve the gastrointestinal tract? These include injection into a vein or muscle, as well as inhalation. Well, it's going to be para yeah. something. Para... <laughs> para... I don't know. Parogenic, para... Para... Well, para something to do with the intestinal tract. Uh, mm. Intestinal tract, you can, like, elementary, para-elementary. Para para-elementary? <laughs> no, it's parenteral. Mm. Oh. Distinguished from connective and supporting tissue, what term indicates the functional tissue of organs such as the liver, brain, kidneys and lungs? Is this parietal? No, that was the yeah. first one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, was absolutely. It? <laughs> I don't know, that was... Oh, I don't know, that tissue. was the first one. Uh, para... Para... Or it could be P-A-R. -P I, I don't know. Oh, I know this. Um, it's like endocrine, paracrine. Uh, nominate Chen. Paracrine? No, it's parenchyma. Oh. Kerry Russell in the title role. Which 2007 film was directed by Adrienne Shelley? The film was adapted into a musical in 20... Muna Bowen. Uh, waitress, the waitress. Waitress is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on the US author N.K. Jemison. Jemison's Broken Earth trilogy concerns people who can magically manipulate earth and stone. Her name for these people comes from what geological term, meaning a process of mountain formation? Orogeny, I think. Orogeny? Orogeny or orogenesis is correct. Jemison's comic book, Far Sector, features Sajina Mullane, a new holder of which DC hero identity? In other continuities, this alias is used by engineer Alan Scott and test pilot Hal Jordan. Hal. Is this Batman? DC no, I don't think they've ever been Batman. OK. I don't um, think so. I don't can't know. think of any other no. DC superheroes. Should I say Batman then? say Batman then. Batman! <laughs> no, it's Green Lantern. Oh. In the city we became, human avatars of New York City joined forces to defeat a threat eventually identified with the fictional city of Rulea. Which US author created this city? I don't know, sorry. Okay, give me a US author. Um, Don DeLillo? No, but he wouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, um, oh. Don DeLillo. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music starter now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of piano music for ten points. Please name the composer who's also performing here. You know Bowen? Uh, Scott Joplin. Scott Joplin is correct. The piano rolls of Scott Joplin were among the first recordings added to the United States National Recording Registry, which marked its 20th anniversary in 2022. For your bonuses, three more of the inaugural inductees. In each case, I want you to name the performer. First, this band leader on piano here. Is this Copland? Aaron Copland? No, I'm not sure. This is a big band. Yeah, this is a big I can't think of any big band people who play piano. Ellington, then? Ellington play piano? Go on, then. I don't. Ellington? It is Duke Ellington, yes. Nice. Secondly... It's kind of, like, folky. Like, I guess the lady who did like Amazing, amazing Grace, because that's the only person I know, but I don't know what she's called, sorry. What, what, which lady? Oh, is it Bessie like, Simone? Oh, say that. Oh, nominate it? Bowen. Is it Bessie Smith? It is Bessie oh, Smith, yes. yes. Very good. And finally... Oh, this is 
is Strange Fruit, yes. right? Billy Holiday. Yes. Billy Holiday. It is Billy Holiday, yes, it is Strange Fruit. Also known as an antigenic determinant, what single word term denotes the portion of the surface of a foreign protein that is capable of stimulating an immune response? You know, Holloway Strong. Spike. That's an epitope. What two letters begin French words meaning leaf, iron, farm, fairy, woman and wind? You know, Alice. F E. F E is correct. <laughs> Three questions on stillness. The hymn that begins, Be Still My Soul, is often set to the music of which tone poem? Written in 1899 by a Nordic composer. Nordic composer. It's a tone poem. Tone poem. Uh, was... Did Sibelius... Was... I need the name of the tone poem. No, the... I thought it was the name of the composer. Which tone poem, wasn't it? Oh. oh. Uh, yeah. Should I say The Forest? I don't know that. Yeah. Thing. The Forest. It's Finlandia by Sibelius. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. In peace there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. These words are spoken by the title character of which of Shakespeare's histories? Peace is nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. When the... Best of love. In peace? Um, well, then it's imitate the uh, action of the tiger, I think it's Henry V. OK, go on then. Henry V. Henry V is correct. Very good. I never said those lines. Yeah. Be Still, Stop Chattering is a secular cantata by J.S. Bach and is often known by the name of what beverage? <laughs> a, a, a beer cantata, a wine cantata, a... Uh, uh, wine? I don't know. Uh, I guess wine. Wine. No, it's the coffee cantata. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Often depicted with four faces and four arms, which major god of Hinduism is referred to... Unimalis. Brahma. Brahma is correct. <laughs> These princes are on Russia and the Ottoman Empire. In each case, I need the century in which the following took place. Firstly, the stand on the Ugra River ended the rule of the Golden Horde over Moscow, and Mehmed II captured Constantinople, ending the Byzantine Empire. End of the Byzantine, like so, uh, 14th century, 13th century. 1300s, yeah. I think. I, yeah, 14th century. Yeah, 1300s. That no, it was 15th century. <laughs> Peter the Great studied shipbuilding at Deptford, secondly, and the Ottoman Empire besieged Vienna unsuccessfully for the second time. I think this might be 1500s, but I... I not said think the 16th century. I think... No, it's fine, go for it. 16th century? No, it was the 17th. By the Treaty of Yassi, Turkey ceded to Russia the western Ukrainian Black Sea coast, but continued to hold Moldavia and Bessarabia. Shall I say is this the Crimean War? 18th century? Or... Mm, I don't think yes. it was. 18th century? Mm, I don't know. 19th. Um, 19th. Yeah. I'm going to say 18th, I think, if that's it. Okay, go on. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 18th century? That's correct. Yes. Ten points for this. In mathematics, Elliot Halberstam, Hardy Littlewood, and Goldback are conjectures concerning what general class of integers? You know, Malice. Prime numbers. Prime numbers is correct, yes. <laughs> You've got to say the bonuses on the US composer Philip Glass. The title of which opera by Glass is thought to reference a 1957 post apocalyptic novel by Neville Shute. Oh, this could be Einstein on the Beach. Go on, then. Yes, yeah. Einstein on the Beach. Correct. Nice. Glass's Symphony No. 1 is based on which 1977 studio album by David Bowie? Other Bowie-inspired symphonies by Glass are Heroes and Lodger. I don't Ziggy think I know which um, uh, album yeah, this is. That's a Bowie album. Ziggy Stardust? No, it's low. Uh -huh. The chamber opera In the Penal Colony is based on an early 20th century German-language short a... story Kafka. by which author? Kafka. Kafka. Kafka is correct. <laughs> that was a great game. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> so, of the seven named positions in netball, how many begin with a letter other than G or W? Nina Malice. One. One is correct. <laughs> That's the centre. Oh <laughs> Congratulations, 150 points is a great score. Thank you. Thank we'll you. look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. Thank you. It's goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. Now, the team from Newnham College, Cambridge, have had one taste of defeat already against the Courtauld Institute of Art in round one. But fortunately for them, their losing score was high enough to keep them in the competition. Given a second chance, they easily dispatched the University of Sheffield and then squeaked past Cardiff on a tiebreak to become the first team from their college ever to reach the quarterfinals. Now, for your picture started, 
You'll see a list of works by an author in the original language of their publication. For 10 points, give me the author's name. Newnham Bowen. Freud. Correct, yes. <laughs> Following on from that selection of works by Sigmund Freud, for your picture bonuses, you're going to see definitions in German of three significant concepts in Freudian psychoanalysis. Give the term defined in each case. Note that unless otherwise stated, these are not direct quotes from Freud's work. First. A <laughs> component um, is... Well, ich is yeah, I, 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 right? Um, One of the three components. Is this the superego? I think so, yeah. yeah superego. Yeah. Superego. Superego is correct. Well done. Secondly, and here the first part of the definition is from Freud. Aggression. Um, is this... I'm thinking... It could be death drive or like a... Mm, yeah, I'm thinking thing. Freudian things, penis envy, castration fear. Death drive? Maybe? Death drive. I'm not sure, like, but that's my best kind of okay. guess. Death drive. Death drive is correct, Thanatos. And finally... Sexual... Uh, uh, I suppose it would be... Um, it's not an Oedipus complex or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is Oedipus, because I think Jung might have been Electra complex, but... Um, yeah. OK, Oedipus complex. Oedipus Complex is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. In two-body orbital mechanics, what shape is the trajectory of an object that is... Munamellis. Parabola. Parabola is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on civil rights cases in the United States. Which African-American slave gives his name to the 1857 case described as the court's great self-inflicted wound? It's ruled that the US Constitution was not intended to include citizenship for people of African descent. Oh, goodness. I'm thinking... I know Plessy versus Ferguson was a landmark civil rights Which case, but I don't, I don't remember what it was about. I remember something about a train. Mm. <laughs> Ferguson, is that... I think who's Plessy. The... Plessy. I think. Plessy. No, it's Dred Scott. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Which mixed-race plaintiff gives his name to an 1896 Supreme Court case that permitted the separate but equal doctrine. He had deliberately violated the Louisiana Separate Car Act by sitting in a white-only carriage. Well, this is definitely Plessy versus Ferguson, because I remember so the train, one. but I don't know who was who. Well, it's a plaintiff, isn't it? So, yeah. Plessy. Plessy, surely. then. Plessy. It was Plessy, yes. Homer Plessy. A landmark case of 1954, lastly, overturned Plessy versus Ferguson ruling that segregation by the separate but equal doctrine was unconstitutional. The case is known as Brown versus what institution? Board of Education. Board of Education. Correct, yes. <laughs> Miss Pinkerton's Academy for Young Ladies on Chiswick Mall is the first location named in which novel first published... Nina Mellis. Jane Eyre? No. Sorry. I'm afraid you lose five points. Also known as the principle of minimum differentiation. What economic rule or law states that rational producers will aim to make products that are as similar as possible... Newnham Bowen. Comparative advantage. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. For music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, simply name the band. Newnham Bowen. LCD sound system. LCD sound system is correct. Well done. Well done, good stuff. <laughs> For your starter, you heard LCD sound system's Daft Punk is playing at my house, referencing the influential French electronic duo. For your bonuses, you will hear three more tracks that pay tribute to the influence of other artists. In each case, I want the artist or group performing for five points each. Firstly, this group. Is this madness, maybe? Like madness. A bit, yeah. Madness? It is madness. It was the Prince there, referring to the Scar artist Prince Buster. Secondly, this group. I'm pretty sure this is The Replacements, Alex Chilton. The Replacements. The Replacements. That is The Replacements. Well done. The track was Alex Chilton, the lead singer and songwriter of the influential band Big Star. Finally, this artist. Sounds like Velvet Underground, maybe. But... Yeah, I'm yeah, go on then. Velvet Underground? No, it was David Bowie's Queen oh. Bitch, a tribute to the Velvet Underground. Uh, uh. <laughs> right, ten points for this. 
Noted for its 19th century Austro-Hungarian architecture, which capital city lies in the floodplain of the Sava River, roughly midway between Rome and Budapest, and about 120 kilometers southeast of Ljubljana? Unimelis. Zagreb. Zagreb is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> These bonuses, Nunam, are on astronomy. For what do the letters E-H, that is Echo Hotel, stand in the telescope known as the E-H-T? This is an international collaboration that captures images of black holes using a virtual Earth-sized telescope. Isn't it something like extremely huge or something? Mm. Extremely huge, yeah. Is that? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Extremely huge? No, it's Event Horizon. Oh, <laughs> The Event Horizon <laughs> telescope has primary targets of two black holes. One is at the centre of the galaxy M87, the other is at the centre of the Milky Way in which constellation? Mm. Mm. Which constellation? I've got no it's idea, not, sorry. Yeah. There's no, sorry. Andromeda? It's not. Yeah. Scorpio. No, it's Sagittarius. Ah. The Event Horizon Telescope includes several smaller arrays. One of these can be found in which desert in Chile? Well, the Chile has the Atacama Desert. Atacama? I think it's okay. that. Atacama. Atacama is correct. I need a two digit number here. A film of 2007 with the main character Guy and Girl and a Will Ferrell film of... Newnham Holloway Strong. One. I'm sorry, I know it's not a two-digit number. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you lose five points. With all three answers promptly as soon as your name is called. Symbols resembling which three Greek capital letters appear on three of the shape buttons on a PlayStation controller? From Newnham. Newnham Chen. Delta, um, Omicron and Kai. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the YA, or Young Adult Book Prize, awarded by the Bookseller magazine in partnership with the Edinburgh International Book Festival. In 2015, who, who won the inaugural YA Prize with Only Ever Yours? Other works by this author are Asking For It and The Surface Breaks. A reimagining of the Little Mermaid. Anyone know? Um, oh goodness! Order. Helen Dunmore did a whole bunch of YA. Helen Dunmore? No, it's Louise O'Neill. Who won the 2020 prize with Meat Market? She has also written Margot and Me, and this book is gay. Oh, oh, is that Juno, Juno Dawson? Dawson? Yeah, Juno Dawson. I, I'm I not Juno Dawson. Dawson. Juno Dawson is correct. Who won the 2021 prize for Loveless? Other works by this author include Radio Silence and Nick and Charlie. Alice Oseman. Uh, nominate Holloway Strong. Alice Oseman. Correct. <laughs> the name of which mammal can precede shrew in the alternative name of the African Senju? Nina Bowen. Elephant. Elephant is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on a Nobel laureate. In October 2021, which Russian journalist shared the Nobel Peace Prize with the Filipina Maria Ressa? Muratov. Nominate Dmitry Muratov. Muratov is correct. In 1993, Muratov was co-founder of Novaya Gazeta, or New Gazette. This newspaper was reportedly assisted by which former national leader who donated a portion Gorbachev. of his award money from the 1990 Gorbachev. Nobel Peace Gorbachev. Prize? Gorbachev. Gorbachev is correct. In 2016, Novaya Gazeta published revealing papers from Mossack Fonseca, a law firm based in which Latin American country? Anyone? I don't Good know. Guatemala, maybe? No. No, Latin America. Uh, uh, Colombia. Argentina? Colombia. I don't know. Colombia. No, it's Panama. Ten oh. points for this. In the pinyin system of Chinese romanization, what letter represents the fricative sound sometimes described as a soft SH? The letters... Minam Chan. X. X is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a town in Essex. Which town in the Epping Forest district shares its name with the monastic institution that was the last to be dissolved by Henry VIII in 1540? Anyone? Uh, mm. uh, monastic institutions, um, Benedictines. The yeah. Benedict. <laughs> Benedict. Well, Waltham Abbey. <laughs> Waltham Abbey was associated with the early career of which leading composer of sacred music born in about 1505? Mm, um, 1505, that's too late for Talus, isn't it? Oh, I might try that. Talus? Talus is correct. Oh, go on then. An English heritage site at Waltham Abbey is the location of the former RGM. These were the royal mills used for the manufacture of what? 
RGM. RGM Mills. 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 Oh, um, flower. Flower. Um, <laughs> flower. <laughs> there was gunpowder. Well, you lose, I'm afraid, Nuneham, yeah. but both teams come back, winners and losers. Goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. The team from Newnham College, Cambridge, began their contest with a narrow defeat at the hands of the Court Old Institute of Art. Their losing score, however, was among the highest of the first round and earned them a repechage match against the University of Sheffield, which they won comfortably. They then beat Cardiff in round two to set up a first quarter final against Bristol, in which they eased their opponent's path to victory by incurring five five-point penalties on starter questions. What surname links all of these? An English navigator who served the first Tokugawa shogun, an early US first lady and prominent woman of letters, the composer of The Death of Klinghoffer, and the authors of The Plague Dogs and So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. Nuna Mellis. Adams. Adams is correct. Right, you get three bonuses on a European city. Which European city is the title of a 1998 play by Michael Frayn concerning a meeting between Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg to discuss uh, the German atomic bomb program? It's probably Copenhagen. Copenhagen. I it's think it is. Yeah. It is Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Copenhagen is correct. In a phrase also associated with Richard Feynman, the US physicist David Mermin described the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics as shut up and do what? Do, do maths, maths. Yeah, it? maths. No, it's calculated. Oh. <laughs> Born in 1879, which physicist responded to the Copenhagen interpretation with the words, at all events, I am convinced he, meaning God, does not play dice. Einstein. Einstein. Well done. The US states with the capitals Jackson and Harrisburg give their names to the principal subdivisions of which geological period, ending around 300 million years ago, it's associated with... Unamellis. Carboniferous. Carboniferous is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a faunal boundary line, marking the boundary between Siberian and Japanese ecological regions. The Blakiston Line is a faunal boundary that runs between which two Japanese islands? Um, it should be Hokkaido and the other one, but I don't know what's beneath Hokkaido. Honshu? Yeah, yeah it was Honshu. Honshu. Yeah. Hokkaido and Honshu. Yeah. Hokkaido and Honshu? Correct. Illustrating the division between the islands, the species... Ursos Arctos and Ursos Tibetanus are native to Hokkaido and Honshu, respectively. What is the common name for the family of mammals to which these species belong? The bears. Surely it bears. Like yeah. Ursus yeah. is bears. Bears? Bears is correct. The Blakiston line marks the northern limit of the Japanese species of which genus of primates, making it the northernmost monkey species in the world? Macaques? Possibly? Yeah, no. Uh, are they the ones... Oh, that isn't it more the yeah, yeah. yeah. Try that. The, maca but, the Japanese macaques? Macaque is correct, okay. yes, well done. In one of the earliest recorded events in Athenian history, which Greek statesman and former Olympic champion attempted a coup in 632 BC with backing from the rival city of Megara? He shares his name with the race of robotic beings featured in the Battlestar Galactica franchise. Unimalis. Cylon. Cylon is correct. Well, we just saw the flag of the Nordic Council, which promotes cooperation between countries in the Scandinavian region. For your picture bonuses, you'll see flags of three minor members of the council. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, this autonomous region. This is the Anand Islands, I think. I'm not sure. OK. Does that sound good? Uh, nominate Chen. Anand Islands. The Anand Islands is correct. Secondly, this is the flag of which peoples who have observer status on the council? That's Sami. Sami, yeah. Mm. Sami? Sami is correct. And finally... That's uh, Greenland. That's Greenland. Greenland. That is Greenland. Well done. Similar to pasteurisation, what thermal process is used to inactivate enzymes in solid foodstuffs to preserve the food? The same term is used in cooking for the process of scalding by brief exposure to boiling water. Unimalis. Blanching. Blanching is correct. You're doing well. You're doing well. You get three bonuses on the British-born astronomer Cecilia Payne-Gaposchkin. Entitled Stellar Atmospheres, Payne-Gaposchkin's 1925 PhD thesis showed that stars were mainly composed of which two elements? Hydrogen and helium. Correct. Payne-Gaposchkin also linked spectral classes of stars to ionisation states of which element? 
with electronic configuration Neon 3S23P2. OK, so... Could it be... 3S? Yes. I don't know. Iron. Iron. Oh, no, I think it might be iron, because they make iron. I don't iron? Know. No, it's silicon. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry. Which of Payne Kaposchkin's doctoral students gives his name to an equation estimating the number of possible extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way? I've oh, good. I have heard I of this. I have heard of it. It's I, not. I'm, I'm thinking letter G, but I've, I've, I wasn't sure I heard that. It's, so it's possible like, the amount extra of extraterrestrial. Yeah. So it's like sometimes something, sometimes something. It's like, anyone have I, a name? I think your surname begins with G, but I don't know. Gordon. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's Drake. In 1946, the US military moved the population of what island location in order to carry out Operation Crossroads? Nina Mellis. Bikini Atoll. Bikini Atoll is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pairs of words that differ only by the substitution of the initial letter A for an E, as in ago and ego. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, two common British trees. One is a catkin-bearing tree of the birch family. The other, the genus Sambuca, bears white flowers and dark edible berries. Old, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Older and elder. Older and elder is correct. Secondly, the genus of plants that includes the Michaelmas daisy and a class of organic compound often responsible for the fragrance of flowers and fruits. Aster and Esther. Yes. Yes. Aster. Aster and Esther. Correct. And finally, a word of French origin meaning jargon or slang and a fungal disease of rye that can cause food poisoning. Argo and ergo. Argo and ergo. Yes, it's Argo and Ergo. We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you're going to hear an excerpt from a musical. For ten points, please give me the musical's title. Her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I was serenely independent and content before we met. Surely I could always be that way again. And, uh, Nina Mallets. My Fair Lady. It is My Fair Lady. Well done. <laughs> well, you just heard Rex Harrison performing I've Grown Accustomed to Her Face from the original recording of Lerner and Lowe's My Fair Lady, which won three platinum awards. For your music bonuses, songs from three more musicals, which also won platinum awards. Five points for each musical you can name. First... <laughs> Is this? Oh no, I think it might be too early for Bandstand. I'm happy to try that. Any friend that's yeah. kind of Oh, it might be. I'm not as good on older music. Is it not? No, anything. I, just, I don't think this is. I don't know. Could it be the Music Man? Don't know music Man? Music Man? It is the Music Man, yes. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Secondly. Is there a oh, this is um, Fiddler on the Roof. This is Summer Fiddler Sunset. On the roof. Fiddler on the Roof, you're right. It is Sunrise Sunset. And finally... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... One, two, singular sensation. Uh, chorus line, is this? Yes, yeah. chorus line. Chorus line is correct. Well done. <laughs> it's fun watching you get those. <laughs> Ten points for this. The term stare decisis refers to the principle that underpins what legal convention in which a court judgment is used as a basis for similar decisions in subsequent cases. Newnham Bowen. Legal precedence. Precedent is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on the film director, Mia Hansen Love. Hansen Love's 2014 film Eden contrasts the struggling career of a fictional French DJ with the rising fame of which real-life electronic duo? Oh, Daft, Daft Punk. Punk. And the it's French, I suppose, yeah, makes yeah. sense. Do we think? Yeah. Daft Punk. Daft Punk is correct. Who plays the lead role of the philosophy teacher Natalie in the 2016 film Things to Come? Her other films include Michael Haneke's The Piano Teacher and Paul Verhoeven's Elle. Um, I don't know the name of the actress and um, the piano teacher, so... Um... Um, yeah, I don't know, sorry, no. Uh, Anything who, anyone who looks like her? No, maybe? I don't. Uh, yeah. Eva Green. No, it's Isabelle Huppert. Oh. The title of Hanson Love's 2021 film Bergman Island refers to Fora, a small island just north of which larger Swedish island? 
I, I, I What's don't that think name a single Swedish the name island. Of, that's Ugh. next to Sweden, in between Sweden and Finland. Yeah, it's I an know. island, yeah. and I never remember its name. Oh, I, no, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll know it when I hear it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. It's not, like, Gotland or something. It is Gotland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered in 1801. Which Group 5 transition metal was initially known as Columbium? Used in superconductors and optical components, its modern name comes from the daughter of Tantalus in Greek mythology. Unimalis. Niobium. Niobium is correct. Well done. <laughs> These bonuses are on space in 20th century art. Born in 1887, which US modernist painted Starlight Night, a watercolour in which he represents stars as irregular shapes against a blue watercolour background? Uh, any US watercolourists? I don't know any US artists that really do No, I don't have any watercolours. OK, pass. That was Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh. Which US painter and graphic artist was one of a number invited by NASA to attend the launch of Apollo 11, resulting in his stoned moon drawing, one of a series of lithographs inspired by the event? Ooh. A, a graphic artist. Sounds yeah, like Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. I don't know Stein. Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. Sort of thing. Lichtenstein? It wasn't, it was Rauschenberger. Which pop artist created the colour screen print Moonwalk 1987, a reimagining of a photograph of Buzz Aldrin standing on the moon? This probably sounds... Warhol? Yeah, Warhol. Well, no, what were you going to say? I know, this sounds probably Warhol. What were you so going to say? I was going to say it's, this sounds like Warhol. Oh, right, 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 OK. <laughs> Warhol. Warhol is okay. correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> St Cuthbert, the patron saint of the north of England, is buried in which Norman <laughs> cathedral? The seat of the fourth-ranked bishop in the Church of England. Unimalis. York. No. That's the second ring. Oh, yeah, no. It was Durham. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a musical act. For ten points, please give me their name. Newnham Bowen. Sparks. That is correct, yes. That was the band Sparks. <laughs> they were the subject of a 2021 documentary and a concert film directed by Edgar Wright. For your picture bonuses, you're going to see stills from three concert films by directors better known for their narrative films. In each case... I want the group that is the subject of the film. Firstly... Ooh, I'm not sure. Um, Any ideas? Oh, my God. I don't recognise anyone, so... What is that instrument? Oh, that's just a guitar. That's a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, do you have any? I don't. OK, Thank pass. You. That's the band, secondly. Oh, Big band. I got any ideas? Anything? I'm not sure, no, um, sorry. Anything? Just um, anything at all? No, I don't, no. Go with Duke Ellington again. Yeah. Duke Ellington? <laughs> No, uh, that is the Buena Vista Social Club. Oh, Finally. Oh, um, Talking Heads. Yes. Talking Heads. It is Talking Heads, yes. <laughs> An example of Shakespeare's infrequent use of a chorus, which play opens with the invocation of a muse of fire? Unimalis. Henry V. Henry V is correct. <laughs> Three questions on designers and architects for your bonuses, Newnham. In 1967, the designer and architect Sir Misha Black created the distinctive black and red on white design used for street signs in which London borough? Anyone know this? London, I, London I think borough. I've seen them, but I don't know which... I don't know London, London. so... Black, it's on, black and red on white... I mean, Westminster? Westminster. Maybe. Oh, well, no, yeah. well, that's not borough, is it? Oh, it's not. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I, I mean, it's City of Westminster. It's, so I can only name one borough. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say Southwark. No, it was Westminster. Oh, so I'm so oh, sorry. It's all right, I just guessed. In the 1960s, the government hired David Rogers and Meller to design a new type of post box and what other ubiquitous item. It has been common on Britain's roads since the first versions were introduced in Parliament Square in 1868. What's that? So, post box and... Cos it's not telephone. Post box. That's Giles Gilbert Scott. Yes, Giles Gilbert yeah. Scott. Um, so, oh, goodness. What else is ubiquitous? Mm. Um, it's touristy um, stuff. Um... <laughs> I just keep seeing like highway markers, but they're not yeah, very. No, <laughs> you might just say telephone box, even though that's. Come on, right. say that, telephone yeah. box. No, it's the traffic light. Oh, oh, okay. Born in 1880, which architect designed the traditional British red telephone box? I don't know. Charles Gilbert Scott. Very good. <laughs> Ten points for this. What is the common name of the triangular-shaped seeds of Fragopyrum esculentum? It is a staple grain in Eastern Europe, where it's often called cassia. You know more. Buckwheat. Buckwheat is correct. <laughs> you get these bonuses on an engineering process. Submerged arc, resistance spot, 
Solid state and laser beam are all forms of what engineering process relating to metalworking? Laser beam uh, engraving, S solid state, oh, solid state cutting, metalworking, welding, welding. soldering. Yeah, soldering. It's welding. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's all right. What I mean, two quantities are plotted against each other in a graph to represent the ductility properties of a weld? The area under the curve is a measure of the toughness of the material. So stress and strain or something. Yeah. I, I, I okay. Do you think it might be like stress per length or strain per length or something like strain. strain Come on, let's have length. it. Strain please. per length. No, it's stress and strain. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's Brazing good. is a form of welding that uses a filler metal with a melting point above 450 degrees. What similar process uses a filler metal that melts at lower temperatures? Maybe that's soldering. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. soldering. That is soldering. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Once for this, I had the wrong. Which you did very well to win, Newnham. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank we should look you. forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. Now, the team from Newnham College, Cambridge, must really enjoy sitting behind these desks, having contrived to play the maximum number of matches possible. They lost in round one against the Courtauld Institute of Art, then beat Sheffield in a loser's playoff, followed by Cardiff in round two. They struggled against Bristol University in their first quarter final but cruise to victory against Jesus College in their second to earn themselves one last shot at the semis tonight. I need a three-word term in German or English described as an absurd romantic drama of the American War of Independence. What work in the 1770s by Friedrich von Klinger gives its name to a romantic movement in... Newton Bowen. Sturm und Drang. Correct. These bonuses are on post-war Europe. Wilhelm Pieck was president of what country from 1949 to 1960? Pieck. Wilhelm Pieck. Was it Bleak, was it? No, it was not Bleak. <laughs> His name is Bleak. Um, Pieck. Pieck. Wilhelm Pieck. Pieck. Not, um, 49. What was your Bleak from anyway? He was, was well, I mean, the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, the Netherlands. No, it wasn't. It was East Germany. Oh, no. Who succeeded Walter Ulbricht as East German leader in 1971? His wife, Margot, known as the Purple Witch, for both her hair tint and her unyielding Stalinism, was Minister for Education. Um, uh, mm, no, um, I mean, I guess we could go with Hanukkah, but it might not be him yet, but... Hanukkah? Yeah. Hanukkah? Eric Hanukkah is correct. Nice. An associate of Stalin during the purges of the 1930s, Eric Mielke, Headed what organisation in the GDR from 1957 to 1989? Stasi. Stasi. Stasi, yeah. Stasi is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In police names, what colour links all of these? The highest points in the Mendip Hills and in West Yorkshire, a peninsula north of Inverness, and the range of mountains in England and Wales. Nuna Mellis. Black. Black is correct. <laughs> Your business is on time travel and literature. Concerning a form of time travel, October the 1st is too late. It's a 1966 novel by which British astronomer noted for coining the term Big Bang? Uh, Fred Hoyle. Yeah. Fred Hoyle is correct. An 1881 story by Edward Page Mitchell is regarded as being the first to feature a time travel device. What common household item is the time machine? Is it like a... I, I, what was the year, sorry? 1881. 1881. 1881. Yeah. Common household item, then. Maybe like a telephone? I was thinking like a wardrobe or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've not read it. That sounds a bit more like C.S. Lewis. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I might say telephone. Yeah. No, it was a clock that went oh, backwards. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. In H.G. Wells' novella The Time Machine, humans of the far future have evolved into two races. Name either. Uh, Morlock or Eloy, I think. Yeah, OK, Morlock. And Eloy was the other one, that's right. <laughs> what faculty of the human mind did Mary Wollstonecraft describe as... The great distinction of our nature, the only purifier of the passions. George Orwell stated that, like certain wild animals, it will not breed in captivity, while Joseph Conrad said that it is the supreme master of art as of life. Uh, Imagination. Imagination is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on English words from Hindi and Urdu. What colloquial term comes from an Urdu word meaning foreign land? During the First World War, it gained popularity among soldiers to refer to Britain while they were serving overseas. Oh. Couldn't be Blighty, could it? I don't Blighty? know if it's that. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Nominate Bowen. Blighty. Blighty is correct. 
What short word comes from the imperative form of the Hindi Urdu verb meaning to see? In English, it also means look or see and usually follows have or take. Take stock. Take, take a have, squiz, have. maybe? Yeah, mm, I, I don't know, but... Have, 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 have peak? I don't know. Um, mm, that, I, is that... I don't know. I don't, I don't know that makes sense. What were you, were I don't, you I don't know anything about this one, so... What was you... you I said? said squiz, but that's a bit informal. Squiz. No, it's deco. Oh. oh. Meaning pleasure or happiness in Hindi, what five-letter word is used informally in English to mean easy, undemanding or requiring little or no effort, for example, of a job? This is cushy. Cushy. Cushy is correct. Ten points for this. I need a precise title here. Conceived in 1948 under the title Silent Prayer, which composition premiered in 1952 as part of a recital by the US pianist David Tudor? The performance required a stopwatch, and unusually... Unimellus. 4.33. 4.33 is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you get three bonuses on birds of sub-Saharan Africa, including the yellow-billed and red-billed species. Which bird of the genus Bufagus is named for its habit of perching on large mammals to feed on insects and parasites? Mm. What's this? It's not the elephant bird or something like I, that. No, I don't think, I don't think so. so. I think that's I do know thing. Sorry. I think it's something like the, the rider birds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think I've seen them, but I don't know what they're called. Rider birds. No, it's an oxpecker or tick bird. Oh, OK. Sometimes called the feathered locust for its swarming behaviour, the red-billed species of which genus is thought to be the most abundant undomesticated bird on Earth with around 1.5 billion individuals? Undomesticated red-billed. Is it pigeons or jays or something? Pigeon. Gull. Sparrow? Sparrow or swallow, sparrow. but I don't know if there's any red billed swallows in. Um, uh, sparrow. It's the quelia. Oh. An acerethrorhynchia is more commonly known as the red billed what? It shares its name with the European duck and, by extension, a blue green colour. Oh, um. It's not like mallard or. It is that, yeah. Is it it's mallard? That, is it mallard? Is that... No, it's teal. Oh. Now, if your picture started, you're going to see an altarpiece. For ten points, please name the artist. Newnham Holloway Strong. Vermeer. It's Giotto di Bondoni. In Chinese history, what single-digit number links all of the following? The legendary emperors who followed the three sovereigns, the short-lived dynasties that followed the collapse of the Tang, and a series of development initiatives... Newnham Chan. Five. Five is correct. <laughs> well, we saw Giotto's Peruzzi altarpiece. It makes significant use of gold leaf. Your picture references are three later artworks which use gold leaf. Five points available for each artist you can identify. Firstly? Um, could this be possibly Leonora Carrington, but I don't... Carrington? Carrington? It is Leonora Carrington. Carrington. Secondly? Ooh. Ooh. Um... um... It looks kind of um, Dada, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and who's your name? is Dada, I suppose. Nominate, but, uh, nominate Bowen. <laughs> Schwitters. No, it's no, not. That's Demuth. Oh. Charles no, Demuth. And finally. Oh, gosh. Oh. Is that Japanese? It looks. Um, yeah. It looks very Japanese. But, I mean, I can say Hokusai. I, I, don't think think it's <laughs> I don't think it's his medium, but. No, yeah. not really. Um, Hokusai. Hokusai is oh, correct. Okay. Ten points for this. Meaning catastrophe or disaster in Arabic. What name is given to the forcible displacement of Palestinian ah, people from Bowen. Nakba. Nakba is correct. <laughs> Three questions on art in the 1850s. The Light of the World, The Awakening of Conscience and The Scapegoat are among works of the 1850s by which pre-Raphaelite painter? Pre-Raphaelite. Which pre-Raphaelite? Rosetti, um, maybe. Rosetti. Yeah, I, I don't know, but maybe Rosetti. Rosetti? Rosetti? No, it's Holman Hunt. Okay. Which US landscape artist painted the heart of the Andes and Niagara? He was a leading member of the Hudson River School. Okay. Um, um, oh, gosh, male. I don't know this. I don't, I don't know this either. No, 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 we don't know. Pass. It's Frederick Church. Finally, The Sower and the Gleaners are works by which prominent member of the Barbizon School, noted for his scenes of rural life? Member of the Barbizon School. Is anyone Bar know? What? Barbizon School? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Pass. Is Jean Francois Millet. Often known as British Proportional Representation or by a three letter abbreviation, what voting system was used by the former university constituencies before their abolition in 1950? Single transferable vote. Correct. 
The events is our novel shortlisted for the Booker Prize since 2010. In each case, I need the name of a present-day country. Mm. The long song by Andrea Levy is set on which Caribbean island, one of the Greater Antilles? Oh, goodness. Greater Antilles. Greater Antilles. Um, um, I... oh. It was on TV, but I can't remember. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't read it. <laughs> Barbados. Barbados. Bar Barbados. No, it's Jamaica. Oh. The Garden of Evening Mist by Tan Twang Eng is set in which Southeast Asian country? This novel's time frames include the Japanese occupation and a post-war emergency. There's a Southeast Korea. Asian. Southeast Asian, no. possibly um, Taiwan, but I'm Taiwan. Malaysia or Taiwan, I'm not Malaysia sure. or Taiwan, yeah. anyone got any? Malaysia, Malaysia, maybe, I don't know. Taiwan? No, it's Malaysia. Oh. Finally, The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton is set in which country of the Southern Hemisphere? New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Correct, ten points for this. <laughs> Known as Bergen in Flemish. What city is the capital of the Belgian province of Haino and was the location of the first major battle between the British and German armies in the First World War? Its name is the Latin word for mountain. Nuremberg. Mons. Mons is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on classical music, Nunem. In the 1890s, who composed the piano duet known as the Dolly Suite, dedicating it to the daughter of his friend Emma Bardach? Anyone know this? I had no idea. idea. Guess, Get, guess uh, a pianist. Um, um, Aaron Copland. Copland. No, it was Gabrielle Fauré. Oh. Which French composer did Emma Bardac marry after his estrangement from his first wife, Lily Texier? His piano time? works of this period include L'Ile Joyeuse or The Joyful Island. Is it around the time for Debussy, maybe? Yeah. Debussy? Yeah. It was Debussy, yes. yes. <laughs> Fauré composed incidental music for which play by Maurice Maeterlinck? Debussy used this play as the basis for an opera with the same title. Um, Debussy's mm. opera. No, 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 sorry. No, sorry. It, he didn't do Salome. Mm. Um, oh, uh, um, uh, uh, Tris, Come on. Uh, Tris and Cresta. Yeah. No, it's Pelias and Melisande. Ten points for this. <laughs> and that's the goal. So, I don't have 130. Student College Cambridge have 120. Well, it was pretty close. Very, very close, and it went right down to the gong. Commiserations to you, Newnham. Thank you very much for joining us. The last quarter final, you did very, very well. Thank you. Thank you. It's goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye.